given consideration to the flip side, which is to say, mm -hmm. if you guys say to the press, we're not going to let you into an event because we consider it a private event, mm -hmm. right? The conversations between the presidents, what have you. And then Pete Souza or whoever takes those photos. Have you ever mm -hmm. considered saying to them, you can't release those photos? Because we have said it's a private event. Because it, it, it surprises all, we, all of we, us when you say it's a private event. We put on right? a schedule when things are open press or closed press. I don't know that we I designate them private. What, what I can say is that uh, here, here's, uh, look, Mike, Mike, I think here's, I, I really, I think this is an important discussion to have, and I think that it's important to have it within the context of all the changes that are happening in the media. And uh, here's what I know, is that for years, through presidencies of both parties, there have been White House photographers, official White House photographers, who have, by the nature of their jobs, had uh, been in rooms with the president when others aren't there and taken pictures and released those photos, often on the same day. And what, hold on. Well, so the issue here is, here, here, I think that's, this is the essence of the conversation, and it's not, it, it means that, because I think by that question you're acknowledging that we're not doing, we're not operating any differently than uh, other White House offices have operated except that the internet exists. And that in the past when White House photos were developed and handed out here, news organizations could decide whether their readers would ever see those photos. What exists now on the internet is the ability for everyone, every one of you, everyone on the street, everyone around the world to take a picture and put it on the internet. Now. And the White House posts some pictures on the internet, identified as official White House photo uh, photographs. So the fundamental difference here is distribution. And I can tell you again, because of the respect I have for uh, the photographers in particular, that I am very sensitive to uh, the situation they're in. And uh, that all of us, when I say us, I was in, uh, by the uh, transformation created by the internet and the uh, and the pressure that is put on business models and I think that's what is often never mentioned in op-eds or in other venues where this issue is raised but this a lot of this uh, that some of this anyway has to do with you know fundamental transformations in the media that of which we and other institutions are simply participants and but not uh, we did not create the internet this administration and guys <laughs> With Air Force One. The internet had nothing to do with Air Force One. There was constraint. Hold on, April. Go ahead. You, our problem is mm -hmm. the access. You can put out a million pictures a day from White House photographer. Mm -hmm. You bar. And what I'm saying that it is. And, and what I'm saying is that we are going to work with. That, that, we are going as as past past White Houses have done. And we are, hold on, John. And so have we. But just not. Do you think that? Hey, hey, guys. If you're telling me that on every flight that President Bush took and every flight that President Clinton took, well, and hold on, that, but, but what I'm saying is, guys, what I'm saying is we hear you and I want to address this. And I want to work with the photographers to uh, improve that situation and see if we can be responsive to your concerns. All I'm noting in answer to Michael's question is that this is part of a, a, a bigger transformation that's happening out there that's driven by the ability of everyone to post anything on the internet free of charge so that you don't have to buy that newspaper or subscribe to that wire service.